All these jackasses did was fuck around and wave their guns around. They didn't even know what was going on half the time. Yo, fuck, I didn't do shit. So there was Anthony DiMaggio, also known as Big Tom. He was the boss of the DiMaggio crime family after his grandfather died in the can. We were loyal to him, all of us. Family meant the most to him, he only had us. We were all a tight crew. There was my only good friend, Vinny. He was my brother in arms those days. Vinny was a strong, silent type most of us fantasized about being. Most of us thought that was really badass, but in reality, he had his close encounters with death multiple times to this point in our lives, he was fully invested in not fucking around. He was fast-bodied and able to slip through cracks like a termite. He was a button man. He busted his ass his entire life just like me. Dom and Frankie were out harassing people that owed Big Tom money. There was also Michael, a recently made man. Our crew was small, but that was a good thing. Tone made that the point. The smaller the crew, the more trust he could place in us. Then there was me, Polly. I was Big Tone's consigliere. I only lived to live in our filthy city that I enjoyed living in. Tomorrow wasn't promised in my world, but I worked with what I had. We were the real deal. No one could penetrate our force. We had everything we wanted. Guns, cars, you name it. You name it, we had it. We were real wise guys. We didn't give a fuck about what anybody around us thought. But we had the rug pulled right under us. All right, gentlemen, what's the issue? See here, I called this sit down today because of a major disagreement. Okay, and that is? Anthony is trying to expand his territory onto mine, and I'm not having any of it. Well, that union job paid well, and they're expanding, so might as well take some property. Yeah, on my turf, I'm losing money. Oh yeah? What? Those abandoned houses in the projects? My company's working. We're gonna be moving around. Give it two months minimum. You don't understand. That's my turf, my land. Your men just come in here like it's nothing? Where's my respect? My father passed down that land to me, and it's my job to keep it on. Respect isn't given, it's earned. And you, you haven't earned shit. So what your dad has passed this down on to you? You sure as hell ain't making it better. What do you know about respect? I'm getting fucked over for the second time here. Franco, Giovanni, Dante, what about them? They died in the hands of your men. We've already settled it. Either Akum would have left to death to both families. Oh, and it just so happened to be that my men died? You know that heist was a setup. The fucking trucks, the security guards. You're not! Damn it! Like Tom said, it's been settled already. You got a bigger cut than me on that heist than I did. And yet you're still complaining. What happened that day was an accident that none of us could have predicted. Tonight with the fucking heist bullshit. We're here for the territory. Whether you like it or not, Lorenzo, we're taking over that spot. As a man who respected your father, I'll give you some cash if that's what you're after. Rest assured, you get some royalties from this new project we're doing. All right, that's fair. No need for another bloodbath.
tomorrow. Preferably tomorrow. Then when they least expect it. We plan tonight. Get everyone. That fat fuck dies. We go to war. This is for Dante, Giovanni, Franco, and my father. I'm on it, boss. Those pricks die tomorrow. You don't fucking pay. That's how they did it. They started picking us off one by one. Not sure how I wasn't found first. But at least I wasn't the first one. It was a bloodbath. See, we did fucked up things, but never to this extent. Okay, motherfucker. Are you gonna talk yet? Huh? Look at you. I'll grab the bat. I think it'll make him talk. Huh. That's right. It will make him talk. We're gonna be getting down to business. Okay, stop, stop, please, stop, 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 I'll tell you. God damn it, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll You'll tell, tell us? You. Where's the fat fuck? Your mother's. <laughs>
No one's answering my calls. They're probably out drinking or something. You know, I find it highly offensive that no one can take my orders. Out of all places, why are we even here? We could have made a reservation at Garcia's or something. I'm not gonna drive all the way to New York just so that you could be busting my balls. <sighs> What's up, Anthony? How's it going? It's going good, Zach. How are you? I'm doing real well, man. I'm doing real well. It's good. How's business? It's going good, man. Things are, you know, coming out of the winter and, you know, looking up. I should have your money by Saturday. All right, sounds good. All right, man. Let me go get some garlic bread for you. It's on the house. This place isn't even nice. See, Zach here is a good friend of mine, all right? He just opened this place. Cut him some slack. I was thinking, once we start remodeling the house, then we could send our son over to your mom's. She'll be happy to babysit. You're, you're out of your mind. I'm not sending my son over to my mom's. You crazy. Here you go, Anthony. Enjoy that. We added some new flavors. Tell me what you think. All right, have a good one. It was a suggestion, Anthony, and a good one, because who else is going to babysit? Someone who has a life together. A college graduate or a nanny or something, I don't know. But the point is, someone who has a life together. Was the fucker there? Yeah. They whack him? You got the fucker. I guess you will just see another day. Fucking guys, man. All of us. Ask your friend over there who ratted him out. No loyalty, Mor morals, honor. Your crew is full of fucking rats. That's why you never understood. My father was a man of honor. The Dimaggio family is full of fucking rats. Ha. Just ask your friend over there. Please. Please. Anthony, 